If you're struggling to lose weight and you're having a hard time juggling all the different steps that you have to implement in order to lose weight, here's exactly how to break that down into a manageable process. Hey guys, my name is Kenny and I've lost over 60 pounds and I've managed to keep that off for some years. And it's my goal to help other parents with desk jobs achieve those same results. So having said that, let's jump into today's talk. When I first started trying to lose weight, I remember it being one of the most overwhelming things I had ever attempted to do. I had to grocery shop differently. I had to cook differently. I had to meal prep differently. I had to do workouts I didn't know how to do. I had to try to count calories. I had to try to do all these different things that I had no idea how to do. And it felt like a lot. And it's because it was a lot. It is a lot if you're trying to juggle all that at once and you've never done it before. It's all brand new. It's very easy to let all those different steps, all those different factors overwhelm you if you let it. But if you get hyper fixated on every single step of the process, especially when you're just beginning, then it's likely that you will eventually get off track because you're doing too much at once. You're trying to implement too much at once and your body is resistant to change. Your body does not like to change. Your body is set in its old ways. And those old ways have probably been in place for years. So you've got a very steep uphill battle of habits that you are trying to break that are deeply rooted, are deeply ingrained in your system. So as an example, you've got your whole entire day laid out. You've got your protein shake for breakfast. You've got your meal prep for lunch. You've got your dinner all ready to go. And you were planning on hitting a workout when you get off work. And then about 10 o'clock in the morning, your boss comes up and says, hey, I need you to get this report done by the end of the day. And you look at the report and you're like, I can't finish this by five o'clock when I'm supposed to get off. This is going to take me till seven or eight. And now I'm not going to be able to hit my workout. Again. And you start to freak out because now you can't get your workout in. And you were hyper fixated that you can't get your workout in. And then it kind of derails your whole day. Then you don't eat your meal prep. You don't eat what you're supposed to for dinner because you are focused on the wrong thing. And here's the key. Focus on what you can do as opposed to what you can't do. So if you take that same scenario and you take the person who's focused on the one thing they can't control, they can't control that anymore. You're not going to hit your workout and that's okay because what we can focus on is the three other factors in our day, our breakfast, lunch, and our dinner. We can control those. So by controlling those and implementing those, that we are hitting three out of four of the things that we intended to do for the day. But if we get hyper fixated on the one thing that we couldn't do, and allow that to derail us, to knock us off course from the other three, then we've essentially let one thing destroy all four. So there's going to be days where you don't hit things just right. Things come up in life, or maybe you've had a bad day and you have a blow up meal. It's okay, it's going to happen. You should expect it to happen. It is a part of the process. But rather than focusing on that thing that you can't change, rather than dwelling on the thing that you cannot control, Focus on the things that you can control the controllables. And if you make that shift to focus on the things that you can, as opposed to the things that you can't, you will be amazed at how much more consistency you are able to attain by controlling the controllables. Because when it comes to weight loss, there are oftentimes many more controllables than there are things that we can't control. 